Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So believe it or not, it's been six months since Microsoft rolled out the new AI-powered Bing and AI functionality in the Edge web browser. And with this announcement, Microsoft has said to date they've seen over 1 billion chats and over 750 million images that have been processed in the new AI-powered Bing over the last six months or so. Now, in this announcement, Microsoft has given us a summary of the key features that have rolled out over the last six months in the new Bing, which I thought we could have a look at today. And just on a side note, I have posted individual videos on give or take more or less all of these features we're going to have a look at today. So if you want more um, info regarding each individual feature, just do a search accordingly on the channel. Now, in no particular order, if we just head over to Bing, uh, Bing Chat, the first is Chat History. And chat history now remembers the history of previous chats and displays them on the right hand side of the chat window under your recent activity and um, from your chat history you can return to any previously saved conversation and pick up where you left off so chat history one of those first key highlights then the next is the bing image creator and i'm just going to ask the chatbot a question make me an image of a man on the moon and while that responds, um, Bing Image Creator allows you to bring your ideas to life according to Microsoft and by simply using your own words to describe the picture you want to see as I've just demonstrated. And we're just going to give that a second or two to generate. And I've asked it, make me a picture of a man on the moon. And there we go. There are my pictures and picture of a man on the moon. So Bing Image Creator was another one of those key highlights. Then I'm just going to mention the next one because it's basically self-explanatory. Uh, the Bing mobile app is available on your mobile device, bringing AR um, functionality to your mobile phone using the Bing mobile app. Then the next, the next one is another key highlight, which is still in preview. Um, the Windows 11 Copilot, which brings centralized AR experience and experiences to your Windows 11 desktop, as I have been posting, which is currently still in preview in the Windows 11 Insider program. And it's now in the beta channel, which means it's getting closer to its public re release. And we are expecting Copilot to roll out with the 23H2 feature update, which Microsoft will make available later this year. And the Windows Copilot currently is a web container on the Windows 11 desktop, which is very similar to how Bing Chat works um, over um, in Bing Chat in your um, in the Microsoft Edge web browser and it will also bring extra functionality like um, asking Windows 11 to turn on light mode if you are in dark mode and vice versa and you will also eventually be able to change some of your Windows 11 settings using Windows Copilot which is a big one that's going to be rolling out um, soon to Windows 11. Now the next is a Bing in SwiftKey which integrates Bing into SwiftKey in three major ways says Microsoft. Uh, search, chat, and tone. And I'm just going to mention this one. Um, so this lets you do things like compose text, get AI translations from one language to another, edit the tone of an email, and more. So Bing is available in your SwiftKey keyboard, as many of you may know by now. Now, some of the newer features that have been made available is we also are now starting to get third-party browser support. So yeah, you can see the new Bing available now in my region in Google Chrome as an example. So this is rolling out on web and mobile using a controlled phased rollout according to Microsoft. So you may have seen the new Bing in your third-party browser or not, or on your mobile in your third-party browser. But nonetheless, um, Bing is available now. I know in my area in Vivaldi and also in the Google Chrome web browser as we can see. And the next is multimodal visual search in chat now for this one we're going to head back to microsoft edge with the uh, the bing chat and i'm just going to click on my history for this one describe this image and i used the windows copilot image which uh, the chatbot described for me and this feature according to microsoft uses open ar models to let you input into chat with images so basically um you can prompt Bing Chat with related questions as I have done. And yeah, it's giving me a whole big spiel of what the chatbot thinks that image is all about. And then as you can see, which is self-explanatory, we also have dark mode, which is one of the new, newer features that has rolled out. And you can change uh, dark mode to light mode as an example by heading to the menu. And yeah, you can have light. If we head back, 
you can have dark and you can also have your system default which in my case is dark mode and then the last key feature for the purpose of today's video and i'm just going to mention this is bing chat enterprise which brings ai power chat uh, to work so you can get uh, verifiable answers and citations and commercial data protection using bing chat enterprise and your user and business data according to microsoft are secure and private and as mentioned that's just a couple of the key highlights that microsoft has made available over the last six months or so uh, in the uh, new bing chat and the um, ai functionality that's been added to microsoft edge with microsoft saying that they have seen over 1 billion chats and over 750 million images processed to date over the last six months so thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one